All new at 11, the grandmother of the toddler shot outside of her Southeast DC daycare is speaking to us tonight and asking for your help. Two year old Emily is recovering from surgery after family members tell us she was shot in the stomach and the arm last week. Four people were shot and two of them died after police say gunmen opened fire in the 2200 block of Alabama Avenue in Southeast. Delia Gonzalez spoke to Emily's grandmother tonight. It's a story you will only see right here on WUSA 9. She uh, uh, was moving around doing therapy or whatever. She looking around seeing her mom, so I'm excited about that. I'm just grateful she here. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I can only give praises to God. Baby Emily, a bright two-year-old, just started classes at Creative Corners Early Learning Center two weeks before gunshots tore through her tiny body. Thursday, Emily and her class were caught in the crossfire of a deadly shooting on 22nd and Alabama Avenue Southeast just after 11 in the morning. He they was in a buggy. They were going out for their um, morning walk that they normally do, and um, sh the shots ran out. And the daycare provider, what did you say the teacher did at that she point? Shield, she shielded the children. She sh allowed them to shield the children. Emily wasn't the only one in the buggy. We caught up with Priscilla Johns as she was leaving a safety meeting inside the 7th Police District. Officers, district school leaders, and the daycare owner who did not want to talk to us all trying to determine how to safely reopen the doors to families and children. My daughter Precious is really tra traumatized because of this. Do you think Emily will be? No, I honestly think she won't remember a lot of this. I honestly don't think she remember a lot of this. Um, I just don't want my daughter to give up, uh, blame herself. It's not the daycare. <laughs> it's not. Trust me, I work there. <laughs> it's not the daycare at all. What do we need as a community? to fix this? We need the leaders, the community to come out and actually be there. You see something, say something. All that hiding behind stuff, it's not going to get nowhere. If it was your family, what would you do? What would you do? My son was shot around here at 10 years old, walking a dog. Did he survive? He survived. He's 17 years old. To, to God be the glory. To God be the glory. My son is still here. And Emily will be too. And Emily will be here too. Grace and mercy. That's all I can say. Grace and mercy. Look at that precious baby right there. That was our Adelia Gonzalez reporting. Now, you can make an impact and help this family. Just three hours ago, we were able to verify a GoFundMe page that's been set up to support little Emily. We've got a link for you to donate on our website right now, WUSA9.com.